the whole story with you cutting math class, right, to yeah. go break a record in the weight room yeah. in high school, right? Yeah. Couldn't you just did that after school? You didn't have to skip class, right? Yeah, I low-key had to. Why? Because it makes the story more hysterical. You, you could have just said you didn't want to go to math class. I really didn't want to do that, <laughs> but at the time, I really couldn't say I don't want to go to math class. But I'm explaining to my teacher, I'm going to go break this record. It's going to look good for both of us. <laughs> is this self-proclaimed that you got the strongest arm in the league? Did you say that, or is that a real thing? People seen it, so other people said it first, and then I just I just backed them, really. But I'm really, I'm really like that. I ain't even going to cap you down. I'm really like that. So if this is the end of the game, y'all need a Hail Mary pass, oh, yeah, they there. should go to you. I'm in there, for sure. I mean, it ain't funny to it's see, but to crazy. see a, a defensive lineman yeah, <laughs> like yeah. the one-yard line just throw a touchdown nah, for sure. to the other side. It's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. You do hip-hop, right? And yeah. I, I actually got your EP. So was it something you already was doing, like, in high school, or did you just start really just spitting once you got in the league? Like, let me start nah, recording. I, I done music my whole life. It's been a passion for me. Like, growing up, I never really talked to people. When I started doing music as a youngster, it was like the mic was always something that I could talk to and it wouldn't judge. We always try to think about what stuff we could, like, like show young people, mm -hmm. like, so they can let out steam. Yeah, and yeah, let, for sure. Like, is that what football and hip-hop does for you? For sure. Football is just a way. It's a way to be violent and it's legal. So <laughs> that's a great way to let off steam and all that. And, and then the music just just comes right behind that because it's a way to, to express yourself. Like everybody needs somebody to talk to. And it was always the microphone for me. Like it, it was a way to express myself and tell my story. If my story changed one person, then I did what I was supposed to do. Mm. So with that being said, I just tell my story, really. Uh, my music paint pictures. Comedy's like that for yeah, me, for right? Yeah, for sure. Because it's therapeutic for me, like, to joke about some things. Yeah. Stand-up has saved me out of it. Yeah. Like, cool. I remember when my mom passed, yeah. and it was so sad. The funeral lady, like, said something to my auntie that was kind of mean. Because mm -hmm. my auntie was joking. She's like, ooh, I got to get one of these. You know, yeah. she was talking about the casket. Yeah. The lady was like, no, we have to custom audio. Because she was a big woman. Oh. So I'm like, I'm dying laughing. I go on stage that night. I talk yeah. about it. Yeah. And it was so funny because the crowd didn't know what I was going with. They was yeah. all like, kind of like, sad. sad. Like, oh. They're like, well, it's real about to go with this. Yeah. And then I end up having everybody in tears laughing. Yeah, that's and dope. About that's it. dope, right? But that's what's amazing about you, too, bro. Like, you know, your pops died yeah. when he was nine. Yeah. Did that kind of put you in the forefront once your pops was going that you be basically became the man in the house? Yeah, for sure. That's exa It's crazy you say that. That's exactly what happened. Like, mm. my dad died in front of me. Growing up, I always wanted to be like him no matter what the situation was. Like, we watch sports. I'm watching sports with him. He go use the bathroom. I'm using the bathroom. So we watch a TV one day, and my mama coming down, but she finna take us to my grandma's house. And it's crazy when I tell people the story, like, my pops knew he was about to die. Because mm. my mama, like, she finna take us. He like, hold on, y'all wait five minutes for y'all go. So my mom and him go outside. I'm still chilling with my pops by the TV, and then he just start having a heart attack. The day of my dad's funeral, my mama looked me in my eyes, and she was like, you the man in the house now. And I ain't take that lightly. It, it was a gift and a curse at the same time, because it made me become a man at a young age. Well, you know what's funny? Even just talking to you now, you have, like, this sense of peace to you. Yeah, for sure. I don't know, you just have boss energy. Yeah. And, like, even for you to say you have a label, was the label created? Because you seem like this type of dude for opportunities for others. My label is everybody I grew up with. We we, we base our thing on one eat, we all eat, and that's how we grew up. It's, it's one eat, we all eat. If I just fix you a plate, you're going to eat and be hungry again. Mm -hmm. But if I teach you how to fish, you're going to be able to keep feeding yourself. So that's what the label is about. That's why you're successful. Yeah. I can tell, right? Because everybody doesn't have that mindset, bro. Yeah. Like I, I think. Like, your sons are probably like, they yeah. just look at you like, man, dad is the big dog. Yeah, nah, yeah. I, I always show them that. And I, my dad taught me that at a young age, too. We we sometimes don't understand by giving people stuff, like, by just giving it to them, we could be hurting them. Because mm -hmm. if I just give it to you, it's like, oh, I can just blow it. But if yeah. you work for it, it's like, I work for this. I got to put this in the right place. We love the game. Don't get me wrong. We love the game. Mm -hmm. But ain't nobody playing for free. Mm -hmm. You got to hit to feed your family. So do it the right way. And when you do it the right way, leave the right way and put yourself in position. So after this, you ain't never got to do nothing else. Hey, generational work, yeah, playboy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what it's all about with me. Like, I'm, I'm trying to make sure everybody eat. One eat, we all eat.